Welcome back to Tiff's Taste. And as you see on the menu, we have some salmon and some shrimp. And I got some shrimp, didn't realize I had to devein them. So I guess I figure I can show you. I'm kind of halfway through. But basically, you're just going to split it. Try to split it right on the spine. I don't do this too often. So I may not uh, try to act like I'm a pro. And then, see, it's in there. Just kind of pull that out. Ugh. See, this is why I eat plants. <laughs> but I do love shrimp, so I guess if I'm going to eat it, I should clean it, right? Yeah, so that's that. And I'm about to cook some shrimp and some salmon. Somebody's getting a salmon nugget with their salmon. That's cool. That's fine. <laughs> you want the salmon nugget? I'll take the nugget, yeah. <laughs> nah, you get the filet gras. Come on. Let me go put this in the bag. <laughs> I just want to get in your plate. All in my plate. I do. I do. Is it flaky? It's good. I'm talking about the fish. Okay. Perfect. See, I don't eat fish, so I don't know y'all.
And let me tell you about this good old coconut curry. It was nice, it was smooth, it was sweet. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, when I was pouring it out of the package, it was giving a baby food consistency, <laughs> carrot soup consistency, Gerber. But it's really good. It's really, really, really good. I think it's a sassafran. Let me see this thing. I grabbed it over here. <sighs> Look, I got a sugar cane. I'll show you guys that another day well sassafran coconut curry it was good and you know me i like hearty plant-based dishes so i got the big pieces of broccoli up in that thing and i let it rock for maybe about an hour and just so all the juices could get deep inside of the broccoli and make the broccoli tender too it's so good you don't gotta do nothing else mama you good was your fish good, Mom? Huh? Was your that fish, fish good? Was it was screaming. It was screaming. I'm glad oh. because I have a fish allergy, so I can't eat fish. I can cook it, but I can't. Well, I don't know if I can cook it because I can't taste it. But I think the ingredients and the it flavors that I'm it using is good. melding in together good. Oh, I, don't know I would what hope you did so. To it, but you took your time and cooked it all nice. Let's see, I wouldn't even cook it like that. Mm -hmm. You gotta cook it nice and slow. Yeah, now I gotta do mine like you. I'm telling you. Okay. See, I don't I'm even cook like that. <laughs> Okay, now you teaching me something now. For real. I don't know how to cook. I just be letting the ancestors guide my hands. That's I ain't gonna lie. I was washing my hands in the water, saying, "Let me make this wonderful meal for my family." <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you the exact words I said, but uh -huh. it was around something like that. Yeah. And it came out good. Came Who out knows? Good. I'm just a chewing and eating. Mm -hmm. It's good though. I told mine up. I ain't even gonna lie. I know you tow yours up. She tow hers up. All plates were empty. Let me show you. I got a little bit of curry left. The kitchen clean. All we had to do go to bed. Oh, <laughs> well, I gotta go drop you off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna drive. This girl, she got her permits, but she can't drive my car. I know. I'm no, 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 no. But so you know that this name of the show is Tiff's Taste. Right. It's Tiff's Taste because. I be cooking some weird things and and it's not everybody's taste but it's my taste so it tastes good to me <laughs> so hopefully it tastes good to you and if you ever see something that you want a recipe to I will definitely write it in the caption or the description but nowadays people don't even read the descriptions anymore so I put whatever info I can get in there hopefully somebody reads it